so today we're doing some rhodium plating. First what you need is a titanium anode and this is specifically with bath solution. This is already pre-mixed. I'm not using the whole gram in one time. I'm only using a little bit so that if you contaminate it, you can throw this away versus if you use your whole one gram at a time, it's an expensive mistake. Titanium anode, which is used for rhodium bath solution. You also get a black titanium anodized anode, and this is for rose and yellow gold plating. Your principle stays the same regardless of your actual plating that you're going to be doing. So you've got a red and a black cord. The red cord is what holds your anode. Then your item is always on the black cord. What I use is a simple little paper clip just to actually hold it on. Instead of clipping it straight onto the item where it's not going to plate and then it's also going to mar your item or scratch your item. So it's always better just to rather use a paper clip and you just let it dangle. I've got cleaning salts that I've already mixed with deionized distilled water. This is normally 40 to 50 grams of the salt powder in 500 mils water. This is what uses and degreases your items so that it's perfectly clean before you plate. And then I rinse it in demineralized distilled water. So first you switch your machine on. You get analog and digital machines. So first you need to make sure that you're getting the right current. You put your titanium anode and your item in to the solution. They must not touch. You put your voltage up as high as possible. So I'm changing my current and my voltage is, for the cleaning salts, you're looking at around about anything from 20, 20 volts is great because you're just cleaning it. You'll see that there's quite a little bit of bubbling and that is because you want it to get nice and clean. If you touch the anode, it is going to arc and spark because you're creating current between the two. You give it a nice little jiggle and this has to happen for at least 30 to 60 seconds. By agitating the solution, this helps it clean better. So here you're getting off all the oil and all the dirt. It's best to ultrasonic your ring first so that it gets all your polish and dirt off. Scrub it with a nice toothbrush and a nice hard bristle brush. Then put it into the cleaning salts. So while this is happening for 30 to 60 seconds, then you need to rinse it. So you can see there's quite a bit of liquid and things. You don't want to put this straight into your rhodium solution because it's going to make it dirty and contaminate it. So you dip it into perfectly clean water and you make sure that it stays nice and give it a nice shake. Let it drip off. And as you see, I'm laying it here onto Colton Roll just to get all the dirt off and make sure that everything's perfectly clean. I'm now putting my anode into my rhodium bath solution. I'm going to change my voltage because rhodium solution is normally plating anything between six to 10 volts. You will see a bubbling, but it's not as bubbling as what your electro cleaning salts are. You lay this in for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how much you want it to coat. And you'll also see that there's light little bubbles on it. If you see black bubbles, or bubbles that's creating black, it is either too hot or too powerful. And you'll see that it's slowly but surely going into a slightly white color. So the longer you leave it, the whiter it's going to get and the more microns it's going to coat of rhodium onto the actual item. I'm going to up the voltage just a little bit more just so that it coats it really nicely. Agitation really does help. Once you finish plating, it's always good to leave your item to rest, give it a rinse, then let it rest. And you can see that it's really nice and white, sparkly and clean. Let you need to take your anode out of the rhodium solution once again in your degreasing to rinse it off in your clean water let it air dry and then it put it back into a safe place where it's not going to get dirty leave your rhodium solution to air out for a little bit of time and then once that is aired out say give it five to ten minutes put your lid on it put it in a dark spot so that it isn't affected by the uv light and that is how easy rhodium plating is